Back in 1920, Nashville was at the epicenter of one of America's fiercest political showdowns, giving women the right to vote. Seven decades of struggle all came down to the state of Tennessee as forces both for and against women's suffrage gathered in Nashville for the climax of this pivotal decision. Elaine Weiss rediscovers this inspiring story in her new book that's called The Woman's Hour, The Great Fight to Win the Vote. And it is a fascinating book. I enjoyed it so much. Oh, thank you, Mara. Thank you for being here. All right, so this began uh, seven decades before, and this is a story, a, a Nashville story that most of us don't know. Why is that and why did you want to share it? Well, I came across the story and I saw that no, not only was it an enormously dramatic moment of this fight, all the forces of uh, for and against women's suffrage, and I think readers will be really surprised by who was uh, not supporting women's suffrage. You'd think it was a kind of foregone conclusion, but it wasn't. Um, and I saw in the story that not only was it an amazing Nashville story and Tennessee story, with bravery and cowardice and political expediency and all the things we know about today. Mm -hmm. um, but it also told a national story. It told a story about how you change democracy. How do you change our constitution mm -hmm. and our laws? Who is a citizen? Who is not? What's the role of women yeah. um, as, as we go from the 19th into the 20th and now the 21st century? It was telling all those stories in a very dramatic way and I realized I could get to the core of some of the, the themes of American history and they all happen here in Nashville. Yeah. And it's, it's just a, such a great drama. It is. And the headquarters was at the Hermitage Hotel, which I think is just fascinating for both both groups. Uh, talk about the anti-suffragists, uh, who most of us, I think, would vilify. What, what was their reason? There were a variety of reasons. There were corporations that feared women voting. Um, here in Tennessee, the strongest were the railroads, who needed the um, legislatures to provide certain um, um, benefits for them and they had already um, found their friends in the legislature. It didn't want women, an unpredictable voting bloc coming in and maybe upsetting the apple carts. Yeah. Um, there's the textile manufacturers who are against women um, perhaps getting rid of um, child labor and they need child labor because it's mm. cheap. The liquor industry is against it. They don't want prohibition. And then there's the women themselves. This was the most fascinating to me. This is women who oppose other women getting the vote. Yeah, it, it's so fascinating. We've just scratched the surface. I hope you'll read this book. There's so much to learn. And I thank you so much for being with us Thank today. you, Meryl, a real pleasure. All right, The Women's Hour, The Great Fight to Win the Vote is available wherever books are sold.